for me, I would recommend either you take quartz or sintered stone. Okay. Yeah, okay, for if you take natural stones, like if you take uh, marble mm -hmm. or granite. I saw that you bought some sample for us today. Maybe maybe you can just share with us a bit and okay. uh, yeah, so we can have an idea of how a cinder stone actually look like. So is this one of the more common uh, stone nowadays? Yeah, correct. Uh, homeowners because they want uh, hassle free. Yeah, so I think for now usually most of the homeowners like young couple they doesn't have helper. Mm. So usually if they cook, they don't want to like you know like a lot do a lot of cleaning. Yes. Yeah, so for this top, right, even if you like, um, if you like too lazy or if you are like uh, after cooking while well, you're very lazy, you don't do clean instantly, uh, the, the, the oil or the uh, curry powder, right, mm -hmm. on top is okay, it won't penetrate in. So, like, ah. maybe if you rest one, two hours, you say, okay, you want to clean, then it's okay. Yeah, so. But for, even, how about what if it's overnight? Will it still possibly that it will not stain the stone? Um, okay. Once if it overnight, especially for the white one, right? Mm. Um, usually ninety percent you won't penetrate in, uh, okay? okay. So sometimes you know, like if like, um, like the curry powder or the curry, right? Mm. Or the is like maybe there's one patch over it. So sometimes you might need a stronger chemical to remove to it. remove it. Yeah, so right. it's still potentially possible to penetrate through, but comparing with natural stone like marbles as well as coats it has a higher resistance comparing right. to them and then also the heat resistance also is better compared to uh, quartz as well mm. right so because for this is a uh, porcelain tile so meaning that after you cook like a pot of uh, soup or like maggi me right instantly yeah you can just put it on top so it won't damage the stone yes, Whereas a quartz or marble? Uh, okay, for marble wise, right, and uh, granite, their heat resistance is also quite high as well. Uh, but only like sometimes, you know, for because they are natural stone, so you won't know whether like the surface there's a crack or not. So sometimes, you know, too hot, the surface might crack. Uh -huh. right? But they can absorb the heat, it's just that the surface won't damage. Only you're afraid that the stone will crack, that's all. Okay, so that means for Natural stone or quartz, if you if although they are heat resistant, but if the icon is still overly uh, hot and there's a potential that it actually will damage the stone by right. uh, but for quartz, right? Quartz is different because quartz is resin. Mm. So the colour, right? Okay, the, the area that you put the pot on, it will decolorize. Ah. Yeah, okay. right. So that one is permanent damage. Um, that one cannot be repaired. So if you want to uh, repair, you have to change them. Some vendors may be specialised only on countertop or maybe homogeneous tiles or marbles. So basically what I hear from you David is that you are providing everything under roof that you cover from flooring to kitchen tops mm. to uh, marbles, uh, granite, homogeneous tiles. Basically it's a, a full range of products. So today if you are walking to their show flat, uh, instead of you going to two to three shops to get maybe Shop A to get your uh, kitchen top and shop B to get your tiles, homogeneous tiles or flooring or marbles or even your uh, wall features tiles or homogeneous tiles or stinted stone. Basically, David's uh, company Hua King actually covers all the range. So instead of going three shop to find what you want, they are providing you a one sort shop which cover all the services. So wow, thank you. I, I think it is very convenient because nowadays, uh, most customers want a one-stop shop service uh, to actually cover all their needs uh, for their purchase, for their household item. So, but for David, in during this COVID situation, do the clients still come down to your shop physically to view or do you guys do like video calls or images to, so that the client can kind of choose beforehand before coming down or do clients just shortlist through pictures? Okay, for currently right now, right, uh, I think because of the limitation of number of people allowed into the showroom, yeah. so we need the customer before they come down, they need to make appointment. Okay. Yeah, correct. So, um, usually some customers, because they only need to see the physical thing. Yes. Yeah, right. so they see really, then okay, because from photos and physically, there is different. Yeah, because sometimes from the image you see from the camera, it looks like, wow, very beautiful, because it can be edited, this kind of mm. thing. 
and, uh, and the color also and the lighting as well uh, will play a part in the photo as well. So some customers, they prefer to come down physically to the showroom and to the item. But uh, some customer, you know, some customer because they are afraid, you know, to mingle with too many people. Yes. Yeah. So this customer then we just send photo to them. Uh, or sometimes we send sample to their house. Wow. This is first time I'm hearing that uh, you can actually get a sample at your comfort of your place if you are purchasing towels or ta uh, tabletop or this. This is some, something very unique. I, I don't see it in the market yet. Okay. So, so basically you will actually send, uh, maybe after the client shot list over through pictures, you yeah, will actually right. send some samples to them. Is it something like this one which you have shown us? That's correct. Either this booklet or it's sometimes they, they shortlisted like a few pieces, right? Like this color, like this color, this color. So I will bring a, like, a, a bigger piece. Yeah, correct. Bigger piece. For them to really yeah. see, and touch and feel. So David, just one last question before you go off. So during this uh, pandemic of COVID-19, how, how has it actually affected your business? Is the business slower now? Okay, initially when uh, during 2020, um, mm -hmm. I think when COVID uh, just started, okay, okay that one, um, okay, it did affect the business, okay, because the circuit breaker, okay, yeah, circuit breaker, and then after that, when after circuit breaker, then the uh, we come back to, and somehow uh, dormitory. Also, okay, because most of the worker they ah. contacted COVID, so we shortage of worker. Okay. So we can't really do anything uh, during the first, I think, after the two months of circuit breaker, after we reopen, I think the first, the next three months or so, yeah, also affect the business because uh, we don't have worker to, to do the fabrication. Yeah, because the factory is closed and uh, we need to, like, you know, because there's no worker. Uh, most of them, yeah, installation, yeah. Because they hand, you know, the, the dormitory, right? A lot of people can not COVID. So, like for this year, right? Um, for two zero two one, we start to improve. Okay, because most of that, most of the worker, they are all vaccinated already against okay. uh, COVID. Yeah, then, and then so most of the owner, they can't travel. Yeah, so yes. yeah, so they can't travel. Then they stay home most of the time. Yes. Then from there, they say, hey, this thing, hey, maybe I need to change all this thing. So. Most of customer, uh, most of the owners, uh, they start to renovate their house. Wow! So that means last year two zero two one is uh, 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 even we are in COVID situation, business was actually better because more people are staying at home, working from home, and they kind of wanted to do a new facelift on uh, their residential property as well. Right. Maybe is it mostly uh, kitchen top? Yeah. Okay, so mostly they upgraded. Yeah, the kitchen. kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of them upgrade kitchen or the toilet. Okay, so they oh, they kind of do a new face for mm -hmm. all this area. Well, so uh, I'm I'm glad to hear that during uh, the past two years of the COVID situation in two zero two one, that was actually a better year for you guys because everyone wanted uh, to upgrade their house. Uh, once again, uh, thank you so much, David, for joining us uh, today to share with our audience. What are the things you need to look out for when you are choosing your home tiles or kitchen tops or marble tops and which area you should be uh, looking out for uh, to use what kind of tiles or uh, natural stone which is more suitable, okay? If you think this video is useful, please click on the like button and share uh, with your friends as well. Once again, my name is Kenneth uh, from KeyQuest Mortgage.